Good day, kings and queens. My name is Erica, and the title of this video is What's in My Survival Kit Bag? Be ready or die. Okay, first thing, kings and queens, you need to have a bag that has multiple departments. It's so imperative, it's so important that your bag has multiple departments. Now, this particular bag is a Nike um, backpack. It has thick straps, and you want something that's supportive for you that you can put on your back where it won't hurt your back. So your bag, you can kind of spend, you know, I try to save you money on this channel. You can spend a little bit on your bag, okay? So it has to be thick enough to hold the stuff and supportive enough for you to just grab that thing and go, okay? Now, a survival kit bag, you need to be ready with cold and warm items. I live in Michigan. The other day, it was just 30-some degrees and snowing. And then two days later, it was 75. So we're going to, with that, keep that in mind, we're going to start with the side pocket. So my very first side pocket has a zipper. Get you some zippers, too. They're very important because some stuff needs to be easily accessible. The location of your items in your bag can be detrimental to your life. So in the first side pocket, see how easily accessible that is? This first side pocket I have, it's a cooling chilling mini. It's just one of those little towels you put around your neck, it'll instantly cool you down. So whether you're in a hot state or if a person is freaking hot as heck or have a fever, and in this same pocket, the one with the zipper, all I have under there is a needle and thread in case you need to stitch somebody up. Okay, so I'm going to put that right back where it goes because location is key. Now I'm going to flip it on this opposite side. Exactly opposite with a zipper. Now what's on this side? Again, something that's easily accessible. Actually, this one I have so easily accessible I could just slide out. This is in front of the pocket. This is a warming mechanism. Super warmers. They're the large size that you just put inside your hand. It instantly warms up your body. So, it's 18 hours of heat. So if it get cold, that gas go out, or y'all got to freaking go, and it's freezing, I don't care if you're even in a hot climate. Climate changes are coming, you all. Remember when I said the health pandemic is coming years ago? Then we had a health pandemic. Check out my channel. Climate changes are coming. So if a person gets too cold, they can die. Yes, I'm being literal on here because this is a survival video. Get you some warmers. Keep them warm. You can put it inside and then hold it with your gloves or inside your feet. And guess what? I also picked this up at the Dollar Tree. Now, some stuff comes to the Dollar Tree different times a year. So tap the notification bell twice so you can know when new stuff comes. Everything's not from there, but I will let you know where I got some stuff from. Okay, so I'm going to turn it and then we're going to come back to the side pockets, but I want to jump into the inside for you all first. Now, easily accessible. My first zipper is the zipper that I could flip out. Okay. And my main zipper, this is important. The main zipper, y'all, should be something that you know directly where to go in case you have to save your life or somebody else's life. Now, my main zipper, I flip out, and right there, very easily accessible, you have the zipper here, and this is where the medications are going to be. Now, I have did a lot of research over after COVID, and I just thought it was time to do this video from RNs, from nurses, doctors, from the cavemen um, who actually live on the earth 
and it's different things we can do where you don't need some stuff and some stuff you really need. So the first thing I have in here, allergy pills, okay? Very inexpensive. And I added this after COVID, after watching some of the health people, they say you should have an allergy tablet inside of your survival kit bag. Next, I have inside of here, easily accessible, it's a USB charger. Say you're out, it's gonna give it to you for an hour. You in an emergency situation, that phone die, is no electricity, what you gonna do? So the USB charger kit, it'll give you some juice for at least an hour. And guess what? Also pick this up at the Dollar Tree. <clears throat> now this I have to redo. I've been dipping into this bag, yeah. <laughs> a nighttime just tap um, capsule. You know, if you're in a situation and you need to get some rest, it's not, you don't want something that's going to knock you out. You just want something that's going to um, help you for the night. And these are very inexpensive. Nighttime capsules with non-addicting ingredients. That's very important. Because some of these nighttime drugs, be sure you check that out and make sure it says non-addicting habits. Also, the daytime one. If you're just feeling some kind of way, because let me tell you something. When fear is high, it messes with the immune system, okay? So over time, you can become a little woozy, and that's just something to get you, cover you. So you have your nighttime and daytime. A mosquito repellent band. Now, I've never used this before, but I thought it was very interesting to have in there. Because, hey, we can repel the mosquitoes away. <laughs> okay, kings and queens, you have to have an inhaler. I don't care if you're asthmatic or not. Even people who are not asthmatic, if you're in a dire situation and they can't breathe, let me tell you something. Have you an inhaler? It can save your life or their life. Now the ointments, try to get these in the packet since they do sell them in the packet so you don't have to carry that long tube around. Just get you some um, some ointments so if you had to clean up a wound, it can help it heal faster and it won't get infected. Also, alcohol swabs, that's imperative. You should have those in your survival kit bag. Mucus relief. Check out Dr. Savy. If you want to get rid of any disease, anything, get rid of the mucus. So, you just could have those in there. I know this is a survival kit bag and you just on the go, but you never know how long that thing might last or how long you might be out there or inside. If another pandemic come or if you got to get up and get your behind out, this is your long call that might help you. A mucus relief. Okay, hydrocortisone cream, Google that. That's good to have too in case of some situations. You want to have you a pair of tweezers. That just makes sense to have you a pair of tweezers in there. A rubber band. And a few band-aids. I have a few different sizes, just a few different sizes to patch it up. Okay, this was the health part. Let's get into the next section. Okay, kings and queens, before I get into this next section, I wanted to let you all know that you can order survival kit bags online. They're kind of expensive. I know Fingerhood, they have some good ones from family members I know who got them. They're worth it, but they are expensive. Now, they won't have everything that's in here, but they do have some very specific stuff, how you can turn your urine into water and things like that. But 
let me continue with your DIY bag, okay? So this next section, the very front of my bag, easily accessible, I have in here these socks. Now, if your feet get warm, keep in mind, your whole body's gonna get cold. I'm sorry, if your feet get cold, the whole body will. So the socks I chose was the socks the hospital give you. I don't know how, but some kind of way, it keeps your feet really warm and it had a grips at the bottom. So if you lost your shoes or any type of thing, get you some warm socks that's gonna stay up on your feet as well. Now, if you're diabetic, they do have diabetic socks too. But get you some thick old warm socks, possibly with the grips on them. In case it is a survival kit bag, in case you don't have no shoes or shoes get gone. And the only other thing I have in here is a pen. And now that I'm thinking about it, kings and queens, I'm going to put a little piece of paper in here with that. Because if I need to write something down really quickly, I have my pen and my paper easily accessible. And something I could grab real quick, I know that, where that is. Next, the zipper right next to it. And I'm going to have to explain this, I already know. Erica, why do you have that big old knife in here? Now at first, kings and queens, <clears throat> I started watching the nature guys who be all out. Oh man, I want to tag him. I forgot his name. He made fires tell you how to survive and just different things. And I know we have like the um, pocket knives, but he said that should be on you. You should have you a big old knife inside your bag. Cause if you got a hunt, it could get real. You need to have some thick enough that's gonna do what you need to do. Or if you need to cut something down off of a tree, because God gives us everything we need. You might need some fruit, anything. Get you one of those knives and sharpen that blade. I don't know if you all can see over there in the back. I have like a, a um, sharpener for the blade. But yeah, put you a knife in there and put it to the back so it can be out of the way. So in other words, turn that thing backwards so when you open up that bag and need something out of it, it's nice and out the way. It won't get cut. Okay, so you need you some feminine items that just make sense, ladies. Okay. Different kind of physical feminine items, light days, medium day, heavy day. You don't know what the situation situation might be. So you have that in overnight. Okay. You want to have some batteries in there. These are the batteries to my flashlight tip. Do not keep your batteries inside of the flashlight because it drains them over time. It drains them over time. I know you're like, I got to use it right away. Yeah. But if you had your bag made for months because you prepared, you draining that, that battery. So have your, your batteries out. Okay. Now, let's get into the real nitty gritty of this. We're going in the inside. I don't know if I should take y'all on the side first. Yeah, we're gonna do the side pocket since I did the other side pocket. This, you don't need to pose an unzip or nothing. This should be easily accessible. Slide it right out. Mints. Somebody who's going to diabetic shock. Somebody might need something, might be having a seizure or anything. You wanna put you some mints in so you can just stick it right in their mouth. And that is, Time is of the essence. So you want that very easily accessible. Just slide it right down in there. And I think I showed you all was in this zipper. No. Just want to make sure before we get into the bulk of it, I showed you everything in the side zippers. Okay, here it is. On this other side zipper where I had the warmers for your hands, is this now remember you had an emergency kit charger okay I think about other people too since I do have so many departments and I tested this on my back to see the weight of it I also just had like a regular plug-in charger 
because you might get to somewhere where you can actually plug your phone in and that emergency charge only lasts for an hour. So I put this in here and this is inexpensive. You can pick this up at the Dollar Tree as well. So you have a backup for the backup. And also I have a dual brick in here for my phone and possibly if it's somebody else with me, their phone as well. Okay. Now, let's jump into the main portion. Okay. First thing, with the main portion of the bag, I have a ring on here. It came with the bag. If yours don't come with the bag, put you a ring on here. You might need to clip something. It's just good to have maybe your key or anything. Just clip it right on on there. So that's the first thing. Now, I updated it post-COVID. Face mask. Survival kit bag face mask. You in a situation or somebody in a situation, you don't want them to die, but you want to protect yourself as well. And whether it's going to protect you or not, it's another layer of protection. Just put your little face mask in there. I have a candle. You want to get you one of them seven day candles. What I mean by that, these candles, they call them the seven day, they burn very slowly and you can have light and a heat source on your person. Here's that flashlight I was telling you all about. Make sure you take the batteries out. I have another light source. This is the one where I have another set of batteries put in so you can just have electric. So I have electric light source and I have a non-electric light source. Now, this is a little first aid kit. Guess what? You pick it up at the Dollar Tree. It has 19 different pieces. Remember I told you I had different size um, band-aids in there. I just had one very easily accessible out here, but this is a whole little kit. And inside this kit, you get an alcohol pad, you get the compress, and you get um, nine assorted bandages, six alcohol pads, two gauze, one comforting bandage and an adhesive tape and the tape so you get all of that inside of this little kit. Food, we have to eat, right? So I do check this bag sometime to make sure my um my cans aren't expired. Get you some cans, you all. You surviving here. You need fruits, you need protein some type of fruit and protein on your way, right? So I just have some sliced pears here. Now, I got the one in juice, because you might get thirsty. Not in that syrup that's gonna slow you down. Get you some fruit that's linked with the juice inside. Beans, I know tons of people don't like beans, but this gonna keep you full, and it's a great protein, Great fiber. So I have some black beans in here. Get whatever kind of beans you might like. Fruits, vegetables, and protein. Now, this I could just eat just like that. This I could just eat just like that because it's already prepped for you. Now, y'all, <laughs> I don't know why I had to eat green beans in here. I love green beans. You want to have you something that you could just eat on the way. Now, I can just open these up and eat them, but that's your choice. But hey, I do have a vegetable in there. Also have some dark kidney beans. Okay? So I have my black beans, I have some kidney beans in there. The whole thing is to keep you full and give you something that's going to give you some energy in case of an emergency. Now, 
I know I didn't add that paper source because I have a paper source in here. You don't know how long you're going to be out in case of a natural disaster or something. You can keep track of time. You can log and jot down. You got to have something to write with. You might not have access to your GPS. You want to map out your plan, how to do something you can write with. Kings and Queens. More batteries for my other light sources. Now I'm looking at this with you all for a while. I haven't seen it in a while. My water. Water is imperative. Okay. I also wrapped this water up. I wrapped this water up in a plastic bag just in case if it spilled. And I learned that from the survival guy as well. So when you put your water in there, just wrap it up in the bag as well. More batteries for my source. A wash rag, cotton, if you can. There are all different kind of wash rags. Cotton is imperative if you can get you a cotton wash rag. I don't want to make the video too long, but that's that's very important if you can get the cotton. Have you not on the side back pocket here? Let me see if I can turn and show you all. See this back portion where I had I just had it slid in there, so I can remember it's there. Slide it right out. Get you some newspaper. Trying to start a fire. Anything. It's a noise to a newspaper that kind of repels certain animals. I know it's all deep, but have your piece of newspaper in there too, in case you need to crumble it or start you a fire. What else I had in this portion? Oh, I had some napkins in here. I put the napkins inside of um, a clear little Ziploc bag in case you need to use the bathroom. You don't want that dirty, you wiping yourself. <laughs> You want to keep it as sanitary as possible down there. So put you some napkins inside of a Ziploc bag. <clears throat> Your lighter. Okay. So as you can see, kings and queens, this back portion are all similar items. So like bathroom or out there. So if I need a lighter to start a fire, if I need newspaper to start a fire, if I'm out and about, I need to use the bathroom. I tried to have them everything in categories to make it easier. Need you a pencil so you can mark off. Like if you're using the bathroom out in nature, you can mark off different trails where you can say, okay, I don't want to go back there. Okay. Another light source. These you can get from the Dollar Tree. You just pull the tab, get your little light. If you have to use the bathroom at night and you want to be able to see, but you don't want to be using up that fuel, pull that thing so you can see where you are squatting, ladies, or where you are urinating, fellas. We need to be able to see around us while we are doing our thing. <laughs> And also, you can use this for other things as well. <clears throat> Have some matches. Oh, I put two packs of matches in there. My other batteries for my other light sources, my smaller ones. I forgot why I put that on that side. My miniature tea light candle. This is a lot of light sources, okay? In case this won't go out, the electronic, then I have my regular one that I could just light up. Okay. And that's it for this particular portion. As you can see, like items are with like items. Okay. Now, it's some stuff that I learned over time, I did this bag uh, probably about a year ago after the pandemic. 
and I have been upgrading it because it's a couple things that I don't have in here that I do want to have in here that I want to talk to you about that I have to actually order. It's a straw kings and queens that you can order that will actually let you purify your water. So say if you're at a river and you need to drink some water but it's not clean, the straw will purify it for you. Also another item that I wanna order is how to change your urine over to fresh clean drinking water. Because without water, um, water is very imperative. If you notice homeless people, we used to do homeless dry, they asked for water. With water, you could last a while. But without water, you can't last too long. Okay? So, put you some water. Get you one of those mechanisms that changes over the bad liquid into water. So when I do get that, it will go into my bag. So I won't have to have so many water bottles because water bottles get heavy. And the type of water bottle I have in here is just a basic one, like a reusable one, recyclable too. That way it's not so much weight on my person. Cause you don't want the bag to weigh you down you want it to just be easily accessible that you can use. So if it's anything you think I need in this kit, I live in Michigan, please drop it in the comment section below and let's help each other out. I love you all kings and queens. Remember, be ready so you don't have to get ready. Have a great day. Like, share, subscribe, and a great evening.